I grew up in Pontiac, Michigan, a working class town with, at the time, three General Motors plants. My parents were both immigrants, uh, they were actually both refugees. My mother came here on the second Liberty ship that brought refugees from Europe after the war. She was a survivor of Auschwitz. She was the, sadly, the only member of her family and actually the only Jew from her town who survived the war. My father was born in Minsk and was brought here by his family as a child to escape the pogroms of Eastern Europe. I, I've often said that this is a remarkable country for many, many reasons. You know, where else in the world can you go literally in one generation from off the boat with nothing to enjoy the kind of, of life and opportunity uh, that I've enjoyed, that my, my parents and my sister also enjoyed. And I think higher education was at the root of that. Uh, part of what motivates me is to ensure that others have the same kind of opportunities uh, that I've enjoyed. Harvard is a special place, but it's also a special place to me. It's where I figured out that I was a teacher at heart. It's where I figured out that I wanted to be a scholar and devote my life uh, to scholarship. It's, it's where I developed my lifelong passion for higher education. These are uh, interesting and challenging times for higher education, and part of what attracts me uh, to this opportunity is the chance to speak, not just on behalf of Harvard, but on behalf of all that colleges and universities stand for. This is the first time, I think, in our history where people have seriously challenged the value of colleges and universities. Both they've asked whether or not it's a worthwhile investment on behalf of students and their families, but also people are raising questions about whether or not colleges and universities are actually good for society. Um, Clearly, I believe that they are. I wouldn't be here if I didn't. We scour the world to try and admit the very best students. We create remarkable opportunities for young people. We do research which literally changes the world. But also, I think it enables the American dream. It gives people opportunity to do things that are almost unimaginable absent it. That's why I think that our colleges and universities are so important, and this particular place is so important. One of the most important people in my life was my fourth and fifth grade teacher. Her name was Shirley Chandler. And I learned a tremendous amount from her, not the least of which was she taught me the importance of listening to others. I think most of us have been touched by great teachers in our lives, and we encounter them at all levels. Great faculty inspire their students. They take a lifelong interest in their students. They mentor their students and continue to try and help nudge them along. That's what we do at a place like this. And I think if we're lucky, we never stop learning and we never stop encountering uh, great teachers. I would say there were a few things that I'm really proud about during my tenure at Tufts. Probably the most important achievement was dramatically increasing access by raising a lot of money for financial aid. In improving access, we greatly enhanced the diversity of the student body. I think diversity is important for a lot of reasons, uh, but the most important is that it's a pathway to excellence. We would never attract the very best if we excluded people because of their background or their race or their ethnicity or, or any other criteria. We need to both reflect the world that we live in, but also to shape that world. Ultimately, we learn from our differences. Sometimes I worry that in today's world, we think of higher education only in terms of what it does for the individual. With this extraordinary education also comes responsibility. And it's responsibility to make a difference in the world. Now different people are gonna do that differently, and that's fine. But I wanna make sure that all of our graduates, no matter what they do, understand they have a responsibility to engage. What we can't afford is to have good people not get involved. Because if that happens, then 
we, we have no standing to complain about outcomes. We are responsible uh, for making the world a better place.